This demonstration is about analog mixing boards. I'm going to be using this small mixing board and I'm going to review microphone inputs, the line input, how to set up the gain. We're going to set up a monitor on auxiliary one. This is the EQ for, for the channel. You have a pan. You have a mute which doubles as a submix button. You can either mute or you can use the button as a submix. And this is the, the main fader. And then you have a solo button. I'm also going to demonstrate how to use the line only inputs, how to hook up the main left and right outputs, and show you how to use the submix. On the rear panel of this analog mixer, you have the power connector, you have power on off, and you have microphone phantom power on and off. You also have XLR outputs main for the main outputs. Then you have separate output for control room, for your control room monitors. Then you have an alternative output. And channel inserts, we're not going to review that, but I'll put some notes in the video about how to use channel inserts. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hook up the main left and right outputs to the amplifier. We're going to use quarter inch TRS connectors. I'm going to plug them into the main left and right. Next, we're going to hook up our CD player left and right, left and right into line in one and line in two. We are going to use quarter inch mono connectors, actually adapters, on this RCA cable. This is coming from our CD player, left and right. I'm going to plug it in to line in one, line in two. Next, we're going to plug in the microphone using XLR connector. This is a male XLR connector. We're going to plug it into mic 3, channel 3 on the board. So now we have our three inputs, which we have our CD player left and right. We have our microphone. Now let's set up the gain for each channel. The first thing we want to do is make sure all the gains are turned all the way down, which they are. Auxiliary 1 and 2, those gains are turned all the way down. We want to make sure each EQ band, we have low, mid, and high, make sure they're straight up. And then pan left and right, make sure that's straight up. And make sure the mute button is not pressed in. Or the solo button. We also have the main faders all the way down for these three channels. We have the submix fader all the way down. And we have the main mix left and right all the way down. Here's a quick technical note. When you plug a microphone into a mic channel, the mic channel uses a preamp 
because the signal from a microphone is very weak. Line level is very strong. So it bypasses the microphone preamp. So never plug a line level signal into a microphone channel or most likely you will get distortion. Okay, first thing we're going to do is set up the line 1 and 2 inputs. And we'll do that by moving the faders first up close to unity. And also the main faders close to unity. Unity is this section right here on each channel. Now I'm going to hit play on the CD player so we have some signal to work with. Now I'm going to adjust the gain. Line 1 and line 2. Now let's move on to the microphone channel. I'm going to move the fader up to unity first and then I'm going to start talking into the microphone. Check 1-2 as I adjust the gain. Check 1-2 check 1-2 check 1-2 check 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 1-2 check 1-2 check check 1-2 check 1-2 check check check. As you can see, even with a preamp, the microphone needs more gain than line level. Let's hear all three channels at once. Turn the faders up for the music a little bit. And I'll talk in the mic. Check one two check check one two check one two check check one two check one two check one two check one two check. What about monitors? On this board, we're going to go ahead and demonstrate how to use auxiliary one on each channel. To be routed to the monitors. So all the auxiliary one controls on each channel will be routed through this main gain control. Let's see how it works. First we need to plug in an output, the auxiliary one output, to an amplifier just like we did with the mains. We'll demonstrate 
using the CD player. We'll make sure we have some music playing from the CD player. We'll turn up auxiliary one on left and on right. Then in order to get any output we have to turn out the master gain control. Any of these channels can be routed to auxiliary one output and go to the monitors. That's a basic setup for monitors. A very important technical note when it comes to monitors. This is the auxiliary one gain control. This is pre and post. What pre means is that you can get output without the fader on the channel being up. So pre means before the fader. If you press post and turn up the gain, you're not going to get any signal until the fader is turned up for those channels. Right now I switched it back to pre. So when I turn up the gain, I have audio, I have signal. I'm going to turn that down, press post, which now it will only work if I turn the faders up. I have it in post. Nothing. Until I turn the faders up. So remember, pre is before the faders. Post is after the faders are turned up. So the fader has to be turned up in order for the auxiliary gain to work.